Hi everyone, my name is Titi Kepsi Richard. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that anytime I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Please keep your comments coming. Your comments are making me better. So thank you for your comments. Bring them and to help us. Today our discussion will be on classification of partial differential equation. Last we started the classification of partial differential equation. If you have not watched that video, please go to YouTube, search for TTJ Kepsi Richie. You'll be able to see the classification of partial differential equation. So come with me. Remember, in our last video, we said that partial differential equations are, cl are classified according to one, the order, two, the degree, three, the linearity, linearity, four, the homogeneity, and five, whether it's having a constant or, or variable coefficient. Whether it's having a constant or variable coefficient. And I know that you remember this very well. I took you through the situation where we, the order we can call for a partial differential equation. We talk about the degree, how we can determine the degree of a partial differential equation. I took you to when a partial differential equation is said to be linear. And we give a lot of clues or criteria for which a partial differential is said to be linear. Today we'll continue with the linearity. Remember, in our last video, I told you that when a partial differential equation is non-linear, thus it does not obey the three criteria or it does not satisfy the three conditions then it is either semi-linear, quasi-linear, or fully non-linear, if you can remember very well. So we'll continue with that, then we we'll talk about the homogeneity. And I made mention that a partial differential equation is either homogeneous or non-homogeneous. Then we we'll also continue with whether a partial differential equation is either a constant or a variable coefficient. So please come with me. Okay, so remember we said that for a partial differential equation to be linear, one, the dependent variable and partial derivative must be of degree one. Then two, there should not be a product between the dependent variable and the partial derivatives. Then three, no transcendental function of the dependent variable and its partial derivative should be okay. If, this, if a partial differential equation satisfies these three conditions, then it qualifies to be linear. So let's try to revise. Now let's look at this partial differential equation. Then the first one. You know, the partial differential, uh, the dependent variable is u, and the independent variable are x, y, and z. So you have to identify that first. So this is differentiated with respect to x three times, differentiated with respect to x twice, then y twice, differentiated with respect to y twice, z twice, like that. So now, first, let's check whether all the partial derivatives and the dependent variable are of degree 1. So the degree here is 1, the degree here is 1, the degree here is 1, and there is no even any dependent variable. Is that only partial derivative? Only the partial derivative, okay. So that condition satisfied. The condition satisfied. Now, the second condition. He said that no product of the dependent variable and the partial derivative must okay. Now let's look at the partial derivatives. Is there any dependent variable multiplying them? No. Condition satisfied. Third condition. No transcendental function. Of the dependent variable and partial derivative mass okay. So is there any transcendental function in this equation? No condition satisfied. Then we can say this partial differential equation is linear. It's linear. It's linear. 
Now so let's look at this one. So we check the degree of the partial derivatives. They are all one. Is there any product between the partial derivative and the dependent variable? There is no dependent variable multiplying the partial derivative condition satisfied, third condition. Is there any transcendental function of the dependent variable? There is a transcendental function here, but it's an independent variable. So that condition to satisfy, then it qualifies to be linear. To be linear. Now let's see the third partial differential equation. So, is there any transcendental function of the partial derivative or the dependent variable? No. Is there any product between a dependent variable and a partial derivative? Remember the dependent variable here is uh, z. So is there any of that? No. Are the partial derivatives and the dependent variable of degree 1? This partial derivative is of degree 1. This one is of degree 1. But there is a dependent variable here. The degree is 2. So that would disqualify this partial differential equation from being linear. So not linear. Not, not linear. Now if a partial differential equation is not linear, then it's three things. One, it's either semi-linear. Two, quasi linear or three fully fully non linear fully non linear so there are conditions for each of these three i will take you through them one by one so come with me okay so we say if a partial differential equation it's non linear, then it's either semi linear, quasi linear, or fully non linear. So, when do we say it's semi linear? A, semi, a partial differential equation is said to be semi linear if one, just two conditions. One, the partial derivatives are of degree one. All the partial derivatives must be of degree one. The dependent variable can be of any other degree, but when the partial derivative are of degree 1, then it satisfies to be a semi-linear partial differential equation. However, it is not an enough reason, because there is another reason. Two, there is no product between the dependent variable and each partial derivatives. There is no product between a dependent variable and each partial derivative. Now, what is the difference between semi-linear and fully linear? The difference, however, is that, you know, in fully linear, the dependent variable must also be of degree 1. But that doesn't happen when it comes to semi-linear. Semi-linear, in fully linear, the dependent variable and each partial derivative must be of degree 1. But this one, only the dependent variable must be, uh, only the partial derivatives must, must be of degree 1. Then, there is no product between the dependent variable and each partial derivative. You know, these conditions will also satisfy for linearity. However, there is one condition for linearity that is not here. Thus, there must not be any transcendental function of the dependent variable in its partial derivative. It's not here. It's not here. So just two conditions. So let's check these three partial differential equations and see which one is semi-linear and which one is not. Now, before you check whether it is semi-linear, you must first check whether it is linear. You must first check whether it is linear. So, let's first check this one, whether it is linear. Look at this. There is a product between a dependent variable and partial derivative. That alone disqualifies the partial differential equation from being linear. So, it is not linear. So, we go to semi-linear. One, the partial, derivative, uh, the partial derivatives must be of degree 1. So, there is a partial derivative here, degree 1. There is... A partial derivative here, degree one, degree one. But look at this. The second condition says there is no product, there must be no product between a dependent variable and the partial derivative. But look at this. There is a product here. The dependent variable is used multiplying what? Multiplying a partial derivatives. So that disqualifies it from being semi-linear. 
So it is not semi-linear. Then it is another thing. So not linear, not linear, not semi-linear, not semi-linear. Look at it. Non linear, non semi linear. Then it becomes another thing. So we'll talk about it. Now let's look at this. There is a partial derivative here, the degree is one. Another partial derivative here, the degree is one. Is there any product between a dependent variable and a partial derivative? No. No. So this qualifies to be this qualifies to be semi linear. Why is it non linear? It is non linear because, look at it, there is a transcendental function of the dependent variable. So that qualifies from being linear. However, it is semi linear because it obeys the two conditions for semi linearity. Thus, all the partial derivatives are of degree one, then there is no product between a dependent variable and a partial derivative. Let's look at the third one. Look at it. So, straightforward, straightforward. This is not linear. This is not linear. Look at it. There is a dependent variable here that is not of degree one. Is it semi-linear? No, it is not semi-linear. Look at this. A dependent variable here is multiplying a partial derivative. So it is not. So not linear, non linear, and not semi-linear. And not semi-linear. So if it is not linear and it is not semi-linear, then it is what? It is either partially linear or fully non-linear. So come with me. Okay, so we say when it is non-linear, it is not semi-linear, then it is either partially linear or fully non-linear. There is only one condition for a partial differential equation to be partially linear. Thus, a partial derivative, a partial differential equation is said to be quasi-linear if its partial derivatives are of degree one. Only that. So check the partial derivative. If they are of degree one, then it is quasi-linear. Any other thing can happen. No problem. There can be a product between a dependent variable and a partial derivative. No problem. It qualifies to be quasi-linear. There can be a transcendental function. It qualifies to be quasi-linear. So now, now, let's see this, the first one. You will just check whether the partial derivatives are of degree one. No, degree one degree one, look at it, there is a dependent variable here that is not of degree one. So, uh, that one doesn't concern for quasi-linear. So, look at this, there is a product here, a dependent variable here is not of degree one. So this, remember, it is not linear. Look at it, there is a product between the dependent variable and the partial derivatives. Even a dependent variable is not of degree one. So it is not linear. Look at it, uh, semi-linear, semi-linearity, look at it. Semi-linearity, one of the conditions is that there must not be a product between a dependent variable and a partial derivative. And it is occurring throughout. So it is not semi-linear. But it is quasi-linear. Because look at the partial derivatives. All the partial derivatives are of degree one. So it is quasi-linear. So it is not linear, it is not semi-linear, but it is quasi-linear. Now let's check the second one. Look at it. Just check the deep. Is it linear first? No, it is not linear. Look at a dependent variable here being squared. So it is not linear. It's not linear. It's not linear. Is it, is it semi-linear? Semi-linearity, remember, all the partial derivatives must be of degree one. Look at this, there is a partial derivative here. That is not of degree one. So semi-linearity is out. Is it quasi-linear? No, because there is a partial derivative here. That is not of degree one. So this is... Quasi linear, quasi linear. However, this is not linear. Neither is it semi linear. It's not quasi linear. Then it is fully non linear. Fully non linear. I hope you get that. I hope I've talked about the linearity very well. Play back the videos, all the videos I share and try to understand them. The next classification we are going to do is classification according to homogeneity. Another nice one. So come with me. So the next classification we are going to do is classification according to homogeneity. Please, please, this does not have anything to do with 
Euler's theories of homogeneous function, which we did in calculus 3. And maybe you do know this different thing. So we said a partial differential equation is said to be homogeneous. If everything underline everything in the equation contain a partial derivative and or independent variable. What is it telling us? When a partial differential equation is given to you, check whether each and every term contain a partial derivative or a dependent variable. If you do, then it qualifies to be homogeneous. If it doesn't, then it is not homogeneous. Then it is non-homogeneous. So now, come. Let's look at this equation, this uh, partial differential equation. That is the differential of u with respect to t. The partial differential of u with respect to t. So the partial differential of u with respect to x, then u sin x. So let's this first term, the second term, the third term, 10 by 10. So there is a partial derivative here, another partial derivative here. There is no partial derivative here. But however, there is a dependent variable. You can see that u is a dependent variable. So it is homogeneous. It is homogeneous. It is homogeneous. Now let's check the second one. So the partial derivative, uh, the partial differential of u with respect to t twice, the partial de differential of u with respect to x twice. Then we have e exponential function being exponented by t. Then another partial derivative with respect to t. So term one, term two, term three. Let's look at the first term. Is there a partial derivative for the dependent variable? Yes. Partial derivative is there. Is there a partial derivative or dependent variable? Yes. Partial derivative is there. Is there any partial derivative there? Yes, there is. Even though there is no dependent variable, then it is homogeneous. Now let's check the third one. Look at this. Is there any partial derivative here? Yes. Is there any partial derivative here? Yes. Is there any partial derivative here or a dependent variable? No. That is non-homogeneous. Non-homogeneous. So the homogeneous, the homogeneity is, is very simple. Now, you'll be given the partial differential equation and you'll be asked to classify it according to order, degree, linearity, and homogeneity. So we'll take a sample partial, some sample partial differential equations and try to see if you can classify them according to degree, order, linearity, and homogeneity. Please, if you don't know, you, you can't classify according to degree, please check my videos. You will be able to know how to classify according to degree, according to uh, order, then the linearity. So now we'll combine all of them to see how we can classify partial differential equations. So come with me. Okay, so we have a question to wrap up everything we have learned about classification. So there is a way to classify the following partial differential equations according to linearity, homogeneity, order, and degree. So let's see if we can classify them. So first, let's check whether let's check the linearity first. Is it linear? There is a partial derivative here. The degree is one. There is no product between a dependent variable and any partial derivative, and there is no transcendental function. So it is fully linear. It is fully linear. Now let's check the homogeneity. Is there a partial derivative or the dependent variable in all the terms? There is here, there is here, there is here. But check, this function is dependent on x, y, z. There is no dependent variable there. So it is non homogeneous. So it is non homogeneous. Non homogeneous. It's non homogeneous. Now, let's check the order. So the highest order, the highest partial derivative, the high, highest ordered partial derivative is the order. The order here is 3, is 4, so 4. So order 4. Order 4. What is the degree? So we check the highest ordered derivative and see the, the, the degree. So the highest ordered derivative of degree 1. So degree 1. So we can call this partial. So the order is 4. 
is the highest order derivative for sorry for the mistake now the highest order derivative is four so we said this partial differential equation is linear non-homogeneous order four degree one i hope you get that yes now let's see the second one whether it is first we check whether it is linear is it linear it is non linear look at the dependent variable here the degree is normal. If there is a partial derivative here, the degree is normal. So it's non linear. Now let's check semi linearity. Semi linearity. Now let's see. Uh, there is a partial derivative here. That the degree is non one. So it is not semi linear. So let's check quasi linear. There is a partial derivative here. The degree is non one. So it is not quasi linear. So fully non linear. Fully non linear now homogeneity there is a partial derivative in this term there is a dependent variable in this term but there is no a dependent variable here so it is not homogeneous so non homogeneous it's not it's non homogeneous now let's check the order so the highest ordered partial derivatives the high order partial derivative is here is 2. So we say order 2. Then what is the degree of the highest order partial derivative? The degree is 1. So degree 1. So we say this partial differential equation is fully non linear, non homogeneous, order 2, degree 1. I hope you get that. It's very interesting. Now let's check the third one. Let's check the third one. Let me clean this place very well so that you understand it. I can clean this. I hope you get that already. So that we can see the partial differential equation very well. So this is half, half u. So now let's see half u. So what do we have? Let's see whether it is linear. Automatically, it's not linear. Look at this. There is a partial derivative. There is a dependent variable here. If you multiply a partial derivative, and even the exponent or the degree is not one. So the, the linear is not. Now let's check semi linear. It's all the partial derivatives. There is only one partial derivative here, and the degree is one. Is there any product? There is a product. So it is not semi linear. I hope you are getting the concept. It is not semi linear. Is it quasi linear? So the partial derivative is, quasi, is of degree 1. So it is quasi linear. So we can say quasi linear. Now let's check the homogeneity. Is there a partial derivative for the dependent variable here? Yes. Is it here? Yes. Is it here? Yes. Why? When we expand this, we get u. We multiply one so we can u square minus u cube. So there is a, a dependent variable here. Don't let it confuse you. Before another term dependent variable. So it is homogeneous. It is homogeneous. It is homogeneous. Now let's check the, the order. The highest order partial derivatives. So look at the higher order partial derivatives here is of order 2 and what is it degree the degree is 1 so degree 1 so we said this partial differential equation is quasi linear homogeneous order 2 degree 1 i hope you get that yeah now let's look at the fourth one the fourth one look at it and see if we can classify them now let's check whether the partial derivatives are of degree 1. There is a partial derivative here. It's not of degree 1. This thing is the same as del u over del s all square. This. So it is not of degree 1. It is not. So if it is not of degree 1, it ceases to be linear. It ceases to be semi linear. It ceases to be quasi linear. So it is fully non linear. Fully non linear. Only non-linear. Now let's check the homogeneity. 
Is there a partial derivative here? And a dependent variable, yes. This term, yes. This term, yes. This term, no. There is no dependent variable and partial derivative. So it is non-homogeneous. Non-homogeneous. Now let's check the order. Remember the highest order partial derivatives. So the high order partial derivative is 1. So order 1. What is the e degree? The degree is 2. Remember I said this. So degree 2. The degree is 2. So degree 2. I hope you get that. Now let's talk about the last one. Okay. So the last one. Let's see. So, are the partial derivatives of degree 1? Yes, they are all of degree 1. Is there any dependent variable? There is no dependent variable multiplying the partial derivative? No. Is there any transcendental function? No. Then it is linear. Now, let's check the homogeneity. Is there a partial derivative here? There is a partial derivative in this term, in this term. Is there a partial derivative here? No. But there is a dependent variable. You know, this function depends on u, y, z. And u is a dependent variable. So it is homogeneous. It is homogeneous. Now let's check the order. The highest order partial derivative. The highest order partial derivative here is 3. So order 3. What is e degree? The degree is 1. So degree 1. Degree 1. Yes. So we can say this partial differential equation is linear, homogeneous, or that 3 degree 1. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. Please, we'll end it here today. And in our next, we'll try to see how we can uh, use direct integration in, fine, in solving partial differential equations. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that anytime I share a video, you'll be the first to receive. Bye bye.